Uh, hello, my name is Christopher, and I'm going to talk about using TailScale without using TailScale. So before, I'm going to explain quickly. TailScale is a uh, mesh VPN which allows you to kind of get rid of this kind of old school legacy VPN setup where you have a lot of VPN concentrator jumping between a lot of boxes from you to your uh, target. But by allowing you to set up like secure, lightweight connection to everything, and all of the hard parts are sold for you. Uh, and the way this works is by having an open source client that runs on uh, your machine that kind of connects and facilitates everything for you, except it needs to tell the other, your other friends in your network where um, they're located. And they need to exchange some information like encrypt, uh, cryptographic keys and all of these things. And this goes via a control server, which is a, a web service uh, run as a part of the Tailscale SAS product. Um, and a while back, before I joined Tailscale, uh, a friend and I, we made a open source project which kind of like re-implemented this control server uh, and made it open source so everyone can uh, host it for themselves as a, like for hobbyists and all of these people that do this at home and want to run uh, everything within their own frame so they don't have to depend on like big, big corporations or whatnot. <laughs> um, but you know this is this is fun and all because you run it for uh, for yourself and yeah that's uh, it's for uh, for the self-hosting people among us. So after a bit, one of the cool things that was built on top of Tailscale is that so it was easy for everyone to connect between your nodes. But sometimes you're developing maybe like a tiny application and you want to be able to show it to someone who's not using Tailscale. And uh, then we launched something called Tailscale Funnel, which is a bit like Ngrok and other things that allow you to kind of like shoot something out on the internet and let people test it quickly. Um, and quickly after this, someone posted on Hacker News, is it now possible to use Tailscale to serve a Headscale instance onto the internet so you don't have to use Tailscale, but you do it by using Tailscale. Uh, and uh, quickly, one of, one of my colleagues, she, she wrote a blog post about, of course you can. So we're going to try to do that quickly now and see how that works out. OK, so let's see. Oh, OK, so I have a, I have a server, and I'm going to set up a head scale instance quickly. I have configured a, um, whoop, um, a head scale instance that runs on a d uh, domain name that's bound to kind of like how funnel works. You get assigned a random-ish uh, uh, tailnet uh, name, which your friends can reach you at. So this is my maybe a bit bigger. OK, so this is the dev, uh, the server URL part here. So I'm going to start a, a headscale instance with headscale serve, uh, which now creates a new database and all of these sorts of things. And uh, oh, sorry, yeah. So that's better, hopefully. Yeah. OK, so and um, uh, in addition to this, I'm going to uh, activate Funnel. So Funnel can be activated by saying Funnel uh, on, which I already done. She's a little bit because it needs DNS propagation. Uh, and then I'm going to say uh, terminate all TLS into a port locally on my computer, which is the head scale, uh, head scale instance. Then I've set up two clients in Docker for uh, Tailscale, which currently is logged out, like they can do nothing interesting. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, log in um, using my uh, alternative login server, so not the official Tailscale one, which Hopefully, it should return. I'm very afraid of the demo ghost. Uh, let's see if I can actually copy it. And then oh, you don't have to actually read what's on that page, but that's the, the very, very naive login mechanism we have. So this is going to ask for a username, which I haven't created yet, but I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to create a new user, because I didn't have one. Uh, and I'm going to register my node. And after a bit now, this node is going to be logged in over, tail, over uh, into a head scale instance that runs over the tail scale network. And uh, I'm running out of time, so I can't log into the second node. But I promise it works. And if anyone is curious, <laughs> come <laughs> drop by and ask me. 30 seconds, OK. 30 seconds, 30 seconds fine. <laughs> uh, 
Second one. Oh, no. Two. Oh, no, the demo gods are not kind today. Two match. Uh, Okay, we have two logged in nodes and I can ping one of the, ping the other one from from this one. Prob hopefully. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank you.